Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from now until the end of September, okay? Okay. Hope you guys are doing good. For those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first. So keep in mind when we pick up on energy for you guys, it's energy that you are, can be experiencing directly, or it can be energy attached to someone in your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to, and it can be reversed or vice versa, okay? So just keep that in mind that that's how picking up energy works, all right? So Aries, let's get into this meditative session, then we'll do the pre-shuffle, and then we'll go ahead and do the reading. So Aries, it was interesting. I heard you what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. I feel like you're looking at someone, and this, this could be someone looking at you, Aries, but I feel like someone is looking at a person and they're not really sure if they're really honest or not, okay? Let me get some water. Damn, throw chakra energy already? Come on, Aries. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, someone's not being very trusting, like right off the bat. It's like, are they being transparent? Are they hiding something from me? What's really, like, what are they really up to? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What What are you really about? You know, I feel like someone's saying that. I also saw puddles of water. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just raining where you guys are, but I did see puddles of water. It almost reminds me of, like, pockets of, like, emotion or pockets of em empathy moments of emotion Mom oh, moments of clarity okay this is interesting you know Aries I think this is why you're you're feeling this way about someone because I think there's moments where it's like it feels really good it feels really true really genuine like where they could be being very vulnerable with you and then it could be quite the opposite like five minutes later where they're being a little shut off they're not really being emotional right and so it's like or true to their emotions true to their emotions we'll just say true to their emotions right so Aries you could be like is this person wishy-washy like do they want to like do they do do they trust me or do they not trust me do what can I trust them can I not trust them whatever this hot and cold it's like hot and cold hot and cold whatever this hot and cold is Aries it's making you not trust the person or if someone's experiencing this hot and cold with you they don't really trust you okay interesting so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And now it's the end of September, just calibrating the cards to your energy. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now it's the end of September regarding love. Yeah, I feel a major mistrust here, but I can tell you really like them. I could tell. There's something you like about them, but the hot and cold is really off-putting to you. And again, that could be vice versa. Keep in mind, Aries, the next full moon is in your sign on October 13th. Get ready. That's going to be a very interesting full moon in the midst of Scorpio season. <laughs> Shit, Aries. That's a lot of Mars energy, okay? Um, I mean, technically, it's Libra season, but it's also Scorpio season because we got other stuff going on in Scorpio, okay? Happy birthday to Libras and Scorpios out there. And Aries, of course really early for Aries but anyway I'm babbling okay please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for Aries summarizing Venus and Jupiter from now to the end of September I am seeing a garden I like that Oh, I do like that. There's something really promising about this person, Aries, and you know it. I can tell. You know there's something promising about this person, but you just can't really trust them. And like I said, it can be vice versa, where they just, they they know there's something promising about you, but there's just mistrust there. You know, someone's also not using their intuition. That could also be part of it. Someone's not using their intuition. Ooh. Oh, 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 Aries. <laughs> Three of Cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy with the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're wondering if someone's lying to you here. You're wondering if someone's lying to you. Three of Cups in reverse can be an indulgent energy. It could be like a party kind of energy. You could be wondering if someone's a bit of a partier or likes their drinks a little too much um, or inauthentic. Yeah, you're wondering if someone's just really inauthentic here, okay? Uh, for others of you, there's a sense of like, ooh, ooh. Aries. For this is a totally different group of Aries that I'm picking up on all of a sudden. About reconciliation. Someone wants a reconciliation, they're not saying it. They're not saying it. That's only going to be for a handful of you, I think. But we'll see. We'll see what comes out. 
the chariot cancerian energy yeah it's like some of you are like maybe i should just give up on this and just keep it moving you're like or maybe i should give this person a chance either way you want progressionaries you're tired of the hot cold hot cold hot cold with this person or for those where there's someone holding back about wanting a reconciliation there's this forward movement of like damn it but i want it i want it but i don't know how to say it i want it i don't know how to confront aries or aries if you're doing this i want it but i don't know how to confront my person right with that chariot energy this is about movement forward movement just progression getting out of this weird energy getting out of the hot and cold with someone or getting out of a place of like i want to be with them again but i don't know how to say it Let's see if we get anything else aries please bring forth messages of true feeling and love for those who need it oh we got the king of wands leo energy could also be fire or air yeah someone has a lot of passion to move things along even if it's just to get out of the stagnation just to get out of the hot and cold or just to get out of a place of like i don't know what to say this is saying it right so aries keep in mind that again this can be vice versa but it, it is a very fight it is a very fiery energy you could be dealing with another fire sign or a cancer leo cusper just saying not necessarily but either way aries this is someone basically like okay no more pussyfooting around i'll tell them i want to be with them again i'll tell them i want this reconciliation because i just got to get this shit moving uh, for others it's like all right i don't know if they're being deceptive or not i just got to confront them i do feel a little bit of a confrontation here almost like a command for the truth of like are you into this or are you not into this that's very aryan <laughs> it's very aryan okay please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. Let's see here. Oh, that's a lot of cards. We're not taking those, but we will take these. Oh, my. The Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card with Judgment. Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader with the Three of Swords, Saturn, and Libra energy. Libra energy specifically. Um, <laughs> well, boy. This is taking a chance here, but some, oh God, but the three of swords, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking the three of swords there. This is almost like a painful leap. Yeah, whoever, okay, for those in that reconciliation story or energy of wanting reconciliation, but like, I just can't say it, I just can't say it, I just can't say it, fuck it, I'll just take the chance. Fuck it, I'll just take the chance and I'll just say it, even though it makes me incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> even though it's like having brain surgery, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to say, I want to be with you again. Or I want another chance at this. A lot of pride in that. I felt a lot of pride there, whoever's doing that. Whether it's you, Aries, or someone doing that to you, a lot of pride there. Because it is painful for them to admit that they want a chance at this reconciliation. It's kind of funny, actually. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of making me laugh. <laughs> anyway. So coming back in this Aries, for those where you're wondering if someone's a partier or wondering if someone just is like not very honest because of that hot, cold, hot, cold, you're, take, you're taking a chance to either confront them on it or just to get out of the energy. But it, there's a discomfort there. There's a discomfort here because some of you, I think, might actually be just dropping this person without getting the full story. Keep in mind, Aries, that that might bring you some heartbreak, okay? I'm just saying. I know Aries like to say you don't do heartbreak, but I'm saying I am feeling that here where some of you are just like, fuck it, I don't need this. That was weird. The camera just slowed down. Where it's like some of you are going to be like, fuck it, I don't need hot and cold in my life. I don't need it. I'm just going to take a chance and just go solo again. And then you might be, be realizing, oh, man, I'm kind of like missing them. Oh, man, this kind of sucks. I'm just saying that might it might be a little bit, a little bit of buyer's remorse of just ditching them okay some of you are going to confront them though and it's just going to make you very uncomfortable to do so which is funny aries because it's like you like confronting people oh you might not get the news you want i think that's why that might be why because you might confront them and you might get the truth and it's like not the truth you really want to hear okay Ew. all right aries so that being said either way either way let's go ahead and get into this reading here uh for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot please know that these are very gentle readings not all messages are for everyone as you heard me set the intention messages come through for those who really need to hear them so sometimes that'll be you sometimes that won't be you and that's okay if it's not you okay um if it's not your week it was just meant for someone else we are working with energy and as i already said it can't be reversed or vice versa so if it's resonating but you gotta switch the roles just switch them also guys gender does not matter we all have masculine and feminine energy don't get hung up on the time frame of this reading either whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're guided to watch this time is not linear if you have any other questions or concerns or curiosities please check out the link below okay plus any other information you 
are curious about, there's a lot of info below, okay? All right, let's go and get into this. Any messages for Aries regarding love? Any messages for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September? Any messages for Aries regarding love? From now to the oh my god, my ring keeps wanting to come off. It's driving me nuts. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September? Okay, that feels pretty good. <laughs> Six of Swords. Aquarian energy here. Energy here. Yeah, yeah, Aries. You just you just don't like the hot and cold. You don't like the stagnicity. You don't like that shit. For those who are like wanting to say, like wanting a reconciliation but having trouble saying it, and again, this energy can be vice versa. You just want peace with this. You just want peace with this shit. You just want the energy to keep it moving, keep it flowing. Okay. And Aries never likes a hot and cold situation. Like, are we on? Are we off? Are we on? Are we off? Oh, there's judgment again. Both eight of wands in reverse. Sag energy. I do feel miscommunication with this. I actually, yeah, I actually feel strong miscommunication. Misstep. A misstep? Oh. E. Um, Aries, whether it's you or someone else, with judgment here, I feel really strongly that someone is either taking a wrong turn or saying the wrong thing. Oh, this is so interesting. It might be enough to just push you away. It might be enough for you to be like, I'm out. But it, feel, it does feel really strongly like a misstep or a miscommunication, misunderstanding. Ooh, a misunderstanding, but right next to judgment? Ooh. You might real, I feel like this is gonna be realized later on, whether you're doing the misstepping or someone else's, it's gonna be realized later on. Let's see. Oh, 10 of wands, Sag energy. Three of Swords, Libra energy, and then the Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, whatever this misstep or miscommunication is, I feel like it relates directly to this energy. This is a major burden and a lot of pain. A lot of pain and burden here could indicate a third party situation, not necessarily. But Two of Wands in reverse, I feel like someone's trying to make a decision here. But this misstep and miscommunication, it, it might be the wrong decision. Whatever it is, Aries. There will be peace and there will be forward progression, but I feel like you're removing yourself from a situation because you're just tired of the hot and cold. You're tired of the hot and cold. You're tired of not really understanding. You're tired of not really trusting this person or persons. You're just you're just kind of over it. And someone I really feel strongly is making a mistake in the form of a misstep or a miscommunication. Okay? Either way, you're not dealing with that. It's either going to be clear cut or it's not. And you only do clear cut, Aries. You only do clear cut. Any other messages for Aries? Ooh. Oh, Lord, you guys got a lot of cards. Nine of Wands. Oh, my God. Sagittarian energy. And then we have, ooh, Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. I did just hear fire. Aries, I feel like this is more of your energy here. This is Wounded Warrior energy. Someone's hurt. Yeah, Aries, I feel like whatever's going on here, I do feel a little bit like it's a third party situation, okay? And someone's making a decision here because it's too burdensome, it's too stressful, but it's quite clearly a miscommunication or a misstep. And it's resulting in this energy of feeling a little wounded, feeling a little guarded and having a lot of options. But a Queen of Swords in reverse, I mean, this is someone who's not very grounded, okay? Someone who's not very grounded, they're, they're not seeing shit clearly. They're not. They have a lot of options in front of them, but they're very guarded against all of them is what I'm getting. I'm getting a major storyline. This spans over a lot of time, guys. So take this as it resonates. So I'm picking up that there is a lot of pain and stress within a situation for some a third party situation and a decision was made. Whatever this decision was, it was around a misstep a miscommunication or a mistake here, okay? And Aries, you or someone else involved in the situation got the hell out of Dodge because you only do clear cut and this was not clear cut. But that person is now very guarded against options. Very, gar very guarded, very mistrusting and not using their intuition. God, Aries, I don't remember having this many cards in a reading in a long time. We now have the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. I feel like this is a decision maker. Whether it's you or the per or someone else, 
Aries that you're connected to, this is the decision maker here. So I'm going to leave him right with the two of wands because I feel really strongly this is the person that made the decision and they are in reverse. They're not grounded either. An emperor in reverse doesn't make the greatest decisions. They usually make decisions from ego or they make decisions from a controlling nature. And whatever the situation was, because it feels a little bit of the past energy, keep in mind if it's present for you, it's present for you. It's just energy. We all work through energy differently. Very stressful, very painful shit. A decision was made from a very ungrounded energy, from an egotistical energy and need to control. It was a mistake. Forming in, could also be in the form of a miscommunication or just a misstep. Energy keeps going, right? Things move forward, things move forward. But there's a person involved in this that is now very guarded against options. Also very confused on all the details of how things panned out and not very trusting and not using their intuition and not thinking clearly either. Wow, kind of a shit show, Aries. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? No, that's it. Overall energy? Is that the nine? Yep, that's the nine. Nine of cups. Piscean energy? Wow, with a king of wands in reverse underneath that. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Ugh, I'm getting party with this. Why am I getting partying energy? Because Nine of Cups is like, it is wish fulfillment. It's feeling really good about yourself, but it can also be about partying and indulging. And with King of Wands in reverse, that's a partier. That's a partier. That's someone who's a little erratic, someone who kind of likes to just have a lot of fun because it's easier than kind of taking responsibility. Ooh, yep. We're talking about the Emperor here. Actually, I'm going to put him right over here. <laughs> him or her, we're going to put this person's energy over here in the overall. Ugh, this person's indulging because they don't want to take responsibility and indulging makes them feel better underneath that we do have wow strength in reverse leo energy here okay um yeah feeling out of control yeah they're out of control they feel like they don't have control over themselves or a situation and i feel like because they know they have to take responsibility for something whatever this misstep or miscommunication is and they'd rather indulge and have fun to make themselves feel good they, they just want to feel good. They just want to feel good. Oh, Aries. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's look at the Six of Swords because this is someone leaving the situation behind because it's fuckery. Let's be honest, right, Aries? This is fuckery. This is someone leaving the fuckery. Aries, it is most likely you, okay? Aries leaves fuckery behind. That's for damn sure. Let's use the Rider Waite deck for this one. Turn out the Six of Swords for Aries. Aries, this is something that could have happened a long time ago, you know, and it could be being brought up now for whatever reason, because this is a story, okay? This is a story. This is a story. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Aries. Regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Aries. Regarding love from now to the end of September. One more. What time is it? Ooh, okay. Just had to keep track of the time. I gotta go meet someone later. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Swords. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah. The Star in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, Disappointment. This is lack of faith. Yeah, Aries, I feel like you left the situation. Someone left the situation because it was just fuckery. It was hot and cold. It wasn't clear cut. Not dealing with that bullshit, right? But this is definitely feeling disappointed and not having faith in someone, and not having faith in a situation. And it, it's it's stemming from mistrust as well. It's stemming from mistrust. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Aries. Oh, 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 sorry, guys. Oh, I was freaking out. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Aries. I just heard Pisces. Tell me about Six of Swords for Aries. Could be a cusper. <sighs> yep. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. I feel like this is the person that's bouncing or bounced. Take this energy as it resonates. And Aries, I do feel like it's you. It doesn't have to be. It can't be vice versa. Sorry, my eye is really freaking out. Oh. <sighs> yeah, not having faith. Not having faith. Also feeling very ticked off and annoyed. And it looks like this Queen of Swords is ending with options, but very guarded against them. Very guarded against them. Tell me about Six of Swords. I'm also getting confusion about this Emperor and confusion on, on intention. Thank you. On the intentions that this Emperor had. 
It feels like a had. It does feel like a past event here. So I have the Six of Swords. So I have the Six of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. So I have the Six of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Time of the Six of Swords for Aries. Time of the Six of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Oh my. Page of Swords just came out. Um, Aries, you could have had a child with this person, definitely with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords here. But Page of Swords, I do feel like immature communication on the way out. On the way out, I do feel immature communication. Overall energy, we do have the Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy with the Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, and we've got the King of, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. Yeah, this is definitely a true pair situation. This, this is a soulmate of yours at the very least. I'm also getting a sense of watching. I'm also, yeah, I'm also getting a sense of watching. Um... And someone's over this situation. Aries, I feel like it's you over this situation. I really feel like this is your energy, like getting over them or just over it. Over it. Because you're not putting up with the hot and cold bullshit, right? But I feel like it's like, ugh, it's such a, it feels bitter. I gotta be honest, Aries. It feels like a bitter end or a bitter walking away. Which I think is why there's some uh, immature communication here for some of you on the way out. Because you don't have faith in the situation. You don't have faith in this person. And as you're getting, and as you're walking out, you're getting over it. It's like very, it's almost instantaneous. Like walking out, I'm over this, I'm over you. Done, 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 done. <laughs> Aries, oh my God, I love you. I just heard fuck boy. <laughs> Could also be fuck girl, I'm just saying. Could also be. All right, so let's go ahead and look at judgment with the eight of wands in reverse. I'm curious what the eight of wands in reverse specifically, because I'm feeling a lot of energy off of that. Let's go for gilded. Let's go for gilded. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. So I have an Eight of Wands in reverse. What was this misstep or miscommunication? What's this misstep or miscommunication here for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September? Okay. So I have this Eight of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands, Aries energy. Ooh, someone was waiting. Ooh. Waiting for clarity, waiting for communication, waiting for understanding. I do feel like it was the Queen of Swords. I feel like the Queen of Swords waited for a while for clarity or communication. And I think if it either never came and then there was like, I'm out. Or if it did come, it was like not what they not what they expected. I feel like it was the Queen of Swords. Like, and this queen did not get what they expected. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. What's this misstep or miscommunication? Oh, there's the Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. Yeah, this queen, this queen was waiting. This queen was waiting. So I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. I just heard no, I wasn't. Waiting. Okay, waiting. Three, three of Wands waits. They wait. They do. It's literally standing there. You literally stand there and you wait for your ships to come in. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So don't argue with me. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm Mars 2 Aries. I'm just saying. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. Ooh, that's a lot. Am I taking these? No, thank you. That's a lot. That's too many. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. Four of Pentacles, Cappy Energy. Oh. So whoever the queen is here, you waited. 
you waited for some kind of communication and if it did come it wasn't the communication you wanted it wasn't the action you wanted to see and it definitely seems like it was a misstep a miscommunication a miss understanding a miss 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 a miss it was a miss and if it never came you eventually were like i'm done i'm done waiting i'm done waiting four of pentacles is like holding on to it i'm just the messenger aries oh shit there's that damn king of wands with the knight of swords in reverse gemini energy could also be air or fire king of wands is leo energy could also be fire or air this is drama and really harsh communication what did i say a miscommunication a misstep a mistake a miss whoever this is right now they're numbing their their discomfort with themselves with indulgence okay and fun because whatever this is this is drama and this is harsh communication is what this queen received not cool not cool sign about the eight of wands in reverse oh jesus page of swords in reverse more piss poor communication this king doesn't know how to communicate sign about eight of wands in reverse no shade, it's just true. Tell me about the eight of wands in reverse. It's not shade if it's true. Overall energy, ace of swords in reverse. Lies. <laughs> Lies and terrible communication. I'm just getting miscommunication, 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 miscommunication. And this queen just had it. This queen had it. I feel like this queen waited and had and tried to have patience. And then it was miscommunication that came in or harsh communication. This queen was like, I'm out. I'm out. Or it was based... <coughs> Hold on a second, guys. Mm. Oh. Or whatever communication did come in, it was either harsh or it wasn't the truth or it just wasn't what this queen wanted to hear. And it really feels at the root of it, it was a misstep, a mistake, a miscommunication, a miss. And this queen's like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm over it as I'm walking out the door. Like, I'm over it. Let's look at this Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Wands in reverse. I feel like this is a de decision that was made on part of this King slash Emperor here. We've got the King of Wands twice and the Emperor twice, okay? But let's look over here because this is the decision that sparked this miscommunication. I'm really curious about the Three of Swords, so let's take a peek at that. Um, let me use this one. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Sign of the Three of Swords for Aries. Sign of the Three of Swords for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Sign of the Three of Swords for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Sign of the Three of Swords for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Hi. Oh, all of a sudden the deck just like fell out of my hand. That was crazy. Justice just fell out. I'm not taking it, but I'm showing it to you. Justice did just fall out. There we go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Tell me about this Three of Swords for Aries. Tell me about this Three of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Aries. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, take it? Oh, Lord. Okay, fine. I'm taking it. Wow. Four of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. This is rejection. We have Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I really feel for some of this was a third party. Now we've got that Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water here. We have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and we have the, the Emperor. We're just missing the Empress here. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Don't worry, we're, we're going to see all these again. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Cappy energy. The Chariot, Cancerian energy. Ooh, and the High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy. Also Gemini for me as a reader. And the King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yeah, whatever the situation is with this Three of Swords, there's rejection at the root of it. Rejection and abandonment. Someone could have abandonment issues, but I do feel for some of you this was a third party situation. Someone got booted. Someone got chosen. Someone got booted. Someone got chosen. I know. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel like this Queen... Is the Queen surrendering? Hold on a second. There's surrender around this Queen of Wands. And collaboration.
I feel like the Queen of Wands is getting chosen here. I feel like this Queen of Swords is getting... I don't like the word booted. I feel like the Queen of Wands is getting chosen in this situation and the Queen of Swords realized that and they were like, I'm out. Whether they heard it from the horse's mouth or they just dipped because they didn't want to deal with hot and cold bullshit, okay? Because then we have two of Pentacles in reverse in the chariot. Someone stopped juggling. Someone stopped juggling and then moved forward, both the High Priestess universe and the King of Swords universe. There's a secret coming out here about this king, about this masculine energy. There's a secret coming out, and the secret could just be a third-party situation. Let's see what other cards come out, and then we're going to look at the High Priestess universe because that secret's being revealed, okay? Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Tell me more about the Three of Swords here. Tell me more about the Three of Swords for Aries regarding love. Tell me more about the Three of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Wow. But the Ace of Pentacles is the last card here. A new beginning and stability. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy with another Eight underneath that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, okay? Someone was releasing themselves from this because it just wasn't working. I really feel a strong third-party energy, and I don't like saying that unless I feel it, and I really feel it here. Um, and someone was put on ice, someone was put on, like, hold, like, waiting, and the person who was put on hold is the one that was not chosen, essentially, okay? Ooh, I just heard because it was easier. Wow. Wow. I can't pick up these cards. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Yeah. This situation wasn't working. For this king, I feel really strongly. For this king, yeah, underneath that, we've got a masculine. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Emperor, emperor with the magician in reverse, a trickstery ass emperor. A trickstery ass masculine energy. Oh, look, with an ending, with death, okay? Oh, I just flipped, it just dropped it and it went in reverse. Yeah, I really, yeah, it's this, this emperor. They couldn't handle the situation anymore. It was too burdensome. It was too burdensome. They couldn't keep up the juggling. So they just decided, I'll make the easier decision because I want more stability in my life. And whoever it was that they didn't choose is like, I'm out and I'm over it real quick. But whoever's out and over it real quick, you're pretty guarded, I gotta say. You're pretty guarded against options. And you're saying, and also um, some of you feel like you, you kind of want more clarity in this situation. Don't torture yourself with that. Whoever the Queen of Swords is in this, because we got... A masculine energy and we've got a queen of wands and a queen of swords here a queen of wands got chosen because it was the easier choice for this masculine energy okay but the person who's not getting chosen there is confusion around that don't let that eat at you okay you don't need to know every detail you don't need to know every detail okay but some of you are definitely guarding your options here guarding against your options let's look at the high priestess in reverse let me use a little Norman deck on this one see what secrets are coming out not the high priestess in reverse i feel like it's just going to be the third party situation that's being revealed but you never know so let's see talk about the high priestess in reverse Ooh, we've got the child energy of 13 breaking down to a four and with the knight of swords which is attached to this masculine energy child is can be immature it can be an immature energy tell me more about the high priestess in reverse yeah someone's just focused on fun it's this emperor energy. And it's funny because overall, they're really ungrounded and not coping well with the decision they made because it came from a very childlike needing needing to have fun energy, needing pleasure. Tell me about the high priestess in reverse. I can't pick this up. Ooh, we've got the star energy of 16 breaking down to a seven with the six of cups here. Yeah, I feel like this person... This masculine energy does have a strong soul tie to this queen of wands and they wanted to stick with that. There's an energy of just play and fun and just hanging on to the past with that six of cups energy. And yeah, that's the secret that's coming out here. It's like making the easier decision, making the easier decision. Cause this queen of swords was definitely put on hold for sure. Put on hold. So now with the high priestess in reverse. Talk about the High Priestess in Reverse for Aries. Oh, yeah. Talk about the High Priestess in Reverse for Aries. Ooh, no, 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 no. Really? All right. So now we've got the Clover with the Clouds. Energy of two and six. We have the King of Wands, the masculine energy with the Six of Pentacles. Wanting to balance out a situation and confused as hell on how to do it. They're not coping with the decision they made. They can't deal. Okay. They've got some guilt here. They've got some guilt. 
borderline resentment, which I think is interesting. They, they're they holding on to resentment for something. Wait, what is this? Ooh. They resent, they resent one of the queens here. They could resent both of them, but it's resentment towards a feminine energy. I can feel it. It's resentment towards one of the feminine energies. I don't know which one it is, but this is basically clouds or confusion. The clover is about um, gift or feeling lucky, right? Confusion about this. With the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands, this is wanting to make something right and very confused on how to do it. Overall, we've got the fish. Fish is money. Money, honey. It's about money. 34, we're going to do a seven, and we got the King of Pentacles, money focused. Yeah, they could have stayed here because they could have stayed with this Queen of Wands because it was easier due to purposes of money. You know, they could share finances or they could have a family together. Like I said, for some, there's a mother child situation going on here. That's only going to be for a few of you. But yeah, something about money. They could work with them as well. Um, no, I feel like it's a reliance. I feel like it's a reliance, 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 reliance. Yeah, I feel like there's a strong dependent energy of money here, whether there's it's because of a child or they just share a home together or they have joint finances. Either way, either way, they made the easier decision. They made the easier decision and now they, they're having a hard time living with it. They're having a hard time living with it. Now let's look at this Queen of Swords with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Let's look at the Seven of Cups because that's screaming. That is screaming at me. Um, legacy. Let's do Legacy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Aries. Now keep in mind, Aries, because we got three people involved in this. You could be any one of these people, okay? Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love. From now to the end of September. Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Okay, that feels pretty good. Time with the Seven of Cups for Aries regarding love from now to the end of September. Why the Seven of Cups attached to the Queen of Swords? Let's see. Do we have another peeker here? No, okay. Page of Pentacles just came out. So yeah, don't make yourself crazy, Queen of Swords, trying to examine the hell out of this, okay? But this is basically saying for the Queen of Swords, you gotta take on a new perspective here. Why won't that focus? Because you don't wanna focus on it. <laughs> you don't wanna focus on taking on the new. Queen of Swords, it's time to have a new perspective in regarding your options and regarding what's happened here, okay? Whatever's happened has happened. This person made a mistake or miscommunicated something, whatever, what have you. They're not coping with it, and that's their own karma. That's the bed they made, right? And they got to lie in it. But for you, you have an opportunity to go into the new, okay? And some of you definitely have a lot of attention right now. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. That you're guarded. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. And I get it. I get it. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Oop. Wow. Yeah. See, look at you. Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse Taurian energy. It's almost like, am I ever going to not feel this way? Am I ever going to, like, trust people? You will. You will. It'll just take time. It'll take time. But you got to take on a new perspective to do it. Okay? You can't just, you know... Go from this situation and be like, all right, I'm all better. You know, sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it takes time and, take, and it takes healing. But you are staying a little trapped here in this energy of being guarded. The more guarded you are, the longer you're going to stay stuck. Okay, and you're not going to be able to get out of this Five of Pentacles energy. So keep that in mind, my Queen of Swords. So I have the Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah, Seven of Swords, Universe, Aquarian Energy. You're still thinking about the deceit. You're still thinking about the deceit of what happened to you, of the bullshit this emperor put you through. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Hey, let this help you sleep at night. They made the easy decision. They didn't make the, 
the best decision. It was clearly a misstep or miscommunication or mistake, whatever. They made the easy decision and they can't deal. Okay, let that help you sleep at night. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Overall energy. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, like I said, I think you're getting a lot of offers here. You're getting a lot of offers, but you're guarded. You're very guarded. Um, you want, you kind of want to take on a new perspective. Yeah, this is definitely like invites to date because the page of pentacles is like a tangible offer because it's, it's pentacles. It's 3d. It's like calling on the phone. It's hearing the person's voice. Like, Hey, let's go out for coffee. Hey, let's go do this. Especially with the knight of cups, seven of cups. You do, you do have some offers here, but you're staying trapped and being guarded. Okay. Because of whatever happened to you and whatever this emperor put you through this third party bullshit, this emperor put you through whatever fuck boy, fuck girl <laughs> did to you, right? So you got to get out of that. You got to take on a new perspective, my queen of swords, if you want to get out of this energy or just pull away from this energy and be done with it once and for all. Emotionally, you're over it. Emotionally, you're over it, but your brain can't forget. Your ego can't forget. I'm just saying, just, just being honest, your ego is having a hard time forgetting. So let's go ahead and get some advice for you using the spirit animal deck. Any advice? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? 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 One more. Okay. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see here. Ooh. Can you hear me trying to pick up the card? <laughs> oh, very nice. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. 12, break it down to a three. And then we have Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter. 28, which is a cyclical energy. You know, Aries, I actually feel like the advice... And I know how you guys might feel about this, but I feel like the advice is to close this out by having a conversation. I really feel that strongly. Like having a conversation with this emperor, this king, and being like, hey, what you did was messed up, or what you did was this, what you did was that, and I like, I just need some closure from this. Some of you guys might feel that way here. I'm also getting purging. I am getting purging. Uh, whatever it is you like to do, like if you find singing, for example, like I feel like something vocal, something vocal, uh, whether it's crying, <laughs> or singing or going to a comedy show and laughing whatever it is purge air and aries i love you i do but sometimes it's hard for you guys to be okay with crying okay it's just an arian thing that i've noticed um so some of you just really have to purge this out once and for all even though emotionally you're over it you're mentally not over it which tells me that there's still something you're holding on to when it comes to that pain of that event even if emotionally you don't want this person anymore even if you're done with this person the event the scar of the event is still with you and that needs to be dealt with okay so whether you have to have a conversation with this person and reach out and be like look i just need to talk about this bullshit you know whether it's just that or talking to someone about it to purge, you got to talk about it. I feel like you have to talk about it or vocalize it in some way, shape or form. Even if it's like writing about it, you got to like get it out of you. You got to get it out of you. <laughs> extract it. Extract it, Aries. Really for my Queen of Swords though. Really more for my Queen of Swords. All right. Any other advice? Oh yeah. Any other advice? Ooh, any other advice for my Aries? What is what is going on? These are very interesting cards coming out. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see. Wow. Ooh, I got the chills with these cards. These are very intense cards. Stag spirit, take the leap. 50, it was up or down to a four. That brings down to a four. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Another four here. So you got two fours. And then we have eagle spirit. Spirit has your back with the energy of five. These cards are intense, right? Look at that. Woo, woo. Very alpha cards. These are very alpha-like animals here. Very, and Aries, you are very alpha. You are Aries after all. But this is taking, pro, like this is taking action on something. This is being proactive. 
This is being proactive in something, taking the lead on something and having the knowledge and wisdom and mature, maturity. Thank you. Having the maturity to take proactive action into dealing with something. Is this for my emperors? Ooh. Emperors, because you're not dealing so well. <laughs> queen of swords ain't dealing so well. Emperors, you're not dealing so well. The only person who seems to be dealing okay is this queen of wands, okay? I'm just being honest here. But this is someone who has the maturity and the wisdom to really be proactive in having a conversation to, to really get closure here and to heal, okay? So queen of swords, like I said, the advice I gave you I think is very solid and that will really help you here. Even if you just write a letter and just never mail it or just burn it, that alone will be very helpful. But I really feel like this advice is for the emperor to be very mature and to taking like alpha action and doing the right thing. With eagle spirit there, eagles are very pure animal, an animals, animals. Oh, I'm gonna have to stitch this shit. I didn't mean for this to be so long. Eagles are very pure animals here, okay? They're very divine, they're very pure, and there's not too many left of them out in the world, right? But eagle is about divinity, it's about purity. Wolf is the teacher, it's maturity. Stag is also wisdom, and all of these energies are very proactive and very alpha. This is about doing the right thing. So emperor, because we know you're not dealing, we know you're not dealing so well with the decision you made, um, might want to really think about that, okay, in whatever it is that you got to do to make it right, because you are confused on how to make it right. You are. You are confused on how to make it right, because you know that it's, what I, however it was handled was not correct. So even if it's just having a conversation and not changing your decision, but just having a simple conversation of like, hey, I shouldn't have said it like this. Hey, I shouldn't have done it like this. Just do it. Just do it. And Queen of Swords, same thing. Like, if you really feel like I can't get this out of my head, emotionally, I don't want this person anymore, but I just can't get what you did out of my head, go ahead and try to make that phone call. Try to shoot them that text and be like, look, this is what I need and I'm doing this for me. And I know a lot of people have pride and that gets in the way of doing that. Dang it. <laughs> pride prevents people from doing that, but you're not doing it to open the door. You're not doing it to have validation. That's not why you do that. You do that to close it. You do that for you, okay? You do that for your own sanity. You're not doing it for them. And even if they don't answer, even if they give you some bullshit answer, it doesn't matter because you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for them. It's just your way of getting closure of just saying that last thing you have to say to get it out of your head and out of your energy once and for all. And it's okay to take the action to doing that. Eagle Spirit's also telling me that there's divine guidance for this to happen on the part of the Emperor or the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is nagging at both of you, Emperors and Queen of Swords. Again, Queen of Wands is the only one who's chilling here, okay? Emperors and my Queen of Swords, both of you might be feeling this nag. Both of you might be feeling this pull. If you're both feeling it, it will just start to happen. But if you ignore it and let pride get in the way, it's going to be in your head. It's going to be in your energy. And it's going to keep you guarded from moving on. It's going to keep you guarded from options, even if you don't want this person anymore. Just take pride out of it. Just take pride out of it. Overall, we have Panther Spirit. Reclaim your power. I love it. With the energy of 44. Oh, and look what's right underneath. Time to heal. Energy of 55. Two master numbers right here, by the way. Yeah, this has to be addressed, Aries. This has to be addressed. Whether you're the Emperor or the Queen of Swords, this has to be addressed. Again, Queen of Wands is the only one chilling here. Okay? This is reclaiming your power, and this is very healing, even if you don't want this person anymore. Okay? Take pride out of it to be mature and being proactive and dealing with this and just speaking some truth. Even if they don't answer, even if you don't get the answer you want, just say whatever it is you got to say to get the closure you need and to just get it out of your system, get it out of your energy and be done with it once and for all. Okay? Okay. Kind of want to pull a soul's journey card for you guys. I mean, I already got to stitch it. Why not? <laughs> mm. I'm going to go in time. Oh. Mm. Okay, really quick, just really quick, just really quick. Because I do have to go meet someone. Okay. All right. Can I get a soul's journey card here for Aries? Further advice or something for um, Aries to be aware of? Further advice or for anything that Aries needs to be aware of regarding this spread? This is a hard lesson, guys. Not everyone learns this lesson. I'm just being honest. Not everyone can learn how to do this, to put pride aside and be like, I got to do this for me and I'm not doing it to show vulnerability. I'm not doing it to be weak. I'm doing it for me and my closure. It has nothing to do with the other person. 
nothing. Some people don't understand that. Any, ooh, just got hit with a lot of energy. Ah, uh -huh. whoo, just got hit with a lot of energy. Um, ooh, um, oh shit. That's my counterpart. Sorry guys, my counterpart's interrupting the reading. Uh, focusing back on you guys, focusing back on you guys. My counterpart 1.0. Okay. Any messages or advice for Aries? Any other messages or advice for Aries regarding this spread? <laughs> oh, Aries! You ready? Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. That's definitely for my emperors. You ready for the next one? I don't think you guys are. I think you guys are mad at me right now. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Queen of Swords. Emperor. Empress. <laughs> so funny. You guys are both orange too. Emperor has this grief. Em uh, almost called you Empress. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Queen of Swords, you have forgiveness here, okay? It's time to forgive, it's time to let go. And Emperor, it's time to own up to your grief and not burying it in fun and indulgence, okay? Then we have Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Purpose is basically knowing that you're on the right path and making the right decisions. And when we don't make those right decisions, what happens? We have grief, <laughs> right? When we don't make those right decisions, we have grief. Okay, let's keep going and see what other ones wanna come out here. I know, don't be mad, Aries. I'm just the messenger. I can tell some of you guys are a little irritated with me. Any other advice or messages for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see. Overall, oh. Oh. self esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This is about that confidence and that pride and that ego. Take pride out of this, guys. I'm telling you, if you can take pride out of this and you can do what you got to do and forgive or, you know, confront your grievances with those Queen of Swords, my emperors, I'm telling you, take pride out of this. Because if you can do this, you're going to feel a hell of a lot better and you're going to be able to get on your path in the right way and feel really good about it, okay? Whether you come together or not, because I really feel like this Queen of Swords is over this emperor, over this this king of swords is king over here i really feel that it's not about that it's about getting rid of these blockages queen of swords getting rid of the guardedness that you have against these options and for this emperor to not bury yourself in fun because you can't deal with the decisions you made okay wow okay that being said aries i gots to go and i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night aries namaste